Sheila. Hey, I'm Carrie, and we are talking today about branding yourselves. We're real estate agents, so it's very important that we make ourselves stand out amongst the other 400 in town. But we don't know what you do, and we're not just talking about branding your career, it could be your life. That's just right. Developing your personal style and not being afraid to put yourself out there. Yeah. I think a lot of times everybody wants to be all alike. You know what? Get what's trendy, get get what's fashionable, mm -hmm. what everybody that, else is buying. There's that fear the of stepping out and putting yourself out there. Because people will criticize. Yeah. But you know what? Most often the folks that are criticizing are doing nothing. So if you're stepping out mm -hmm. and you're putting yourself out front to say, look, this is who I am. Like it or not, love me or not. Billy, my husband, is famous for saying, well, they either like me or they don't. And I don't really care one way or the other. I won't say what my husband says, but he says, I don't give a look. <laughs> well, yeah, Billy, Billy does that too. Yeah, I got you. And people have said in business, if you don't have haters, you haven't arrived yet. Oh, right? that's true. <laughs> that's true. So. We said that about our source show, our first yeah. thumbs down on YouTube. Oh. We made it now. But yeah, so, you know, anyone goes into a grocery store, you do this too. You go right to the Tide, not the Cheater. You go right to the Charmin, not the Northern. What makes you do that? Something has stood out about a product. Something needs to stand out about you with your business, right? Exactly. <clears throat> yeah, yes. so you said earlier, because we've been talking about this, but kind of compare yourself to like colors. Mm -hmm. How do you want people to feel you? They want to feel red coming at them, or right. maybe a soft blue, yeah. or earth yeah. tones. You know, you think about um, big businesses like the McDonald's and the Targets and, and their symbols. And, yeah. You know, when you see a bullseye, you think of Target. Mm -hmm. You think of their products. Golden arches. Yeah. And for it's, it's, all, it's personal branding. And for Tide, oh. company yeah. it's the red and yellow. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah. You, you instantly know. Okay, so if you're trying to brand yourself, think of a color scheme for who you are that, that feels like who you are. Think of what it is that makes you special, because you're the only one that knows. How would you handle something versus someone else? And then wrap your head around that niche. Yep. Kind of hashtag yourself or tagline yourself. I have um, and be consistent. Be, oh, that's the definitely best thing. Yes. I have a um, listing in Shelbyville, which we know is horse country around here, and the agents that have come through, quite a few of them have themselves their business picture on their business card is with a horse, mm -hmm. or or there's a barn on the picture, or you know, a saddle. So they're branding themselves as someone to, to contact when you're selling horse mm -hmm. property, equestrian property, farms, things in that area. Right. It's very smooth. So imagine that. Here's this business card and their name and horses or barns, but yet what if it was a business card? It was just like Joe Smith Realtor. <laughs> No one would know yeah. what is your niche, what is your specialty. So really think about it, what makes you different. And then you just said it. Whatever your slogan is or whatever, it, be consistent to that message because if you're not, then you've blown it. Right? That's right. Absolutely. Be consistent to that because you know we've talked about this with ourselves before. She was very much like this, you know. Um, Trust, like, okay, I, I can trust her with my business. I'm leaving the country. She's got it. Or this is a big deal for me. I need someone I can trust. Not that we're not all someone you can trust. But don't you think you've, you've mentioned that? You found that, that to be a common probably a strength for me. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And right. Carrie, you stand out with your million dollar listings that you post regularly. I, well, I try to um, reach in and see what's passionate to me. And then feed it to the public, and and so it's worked for some reason. You know, it really has. And then you're lucky to have Kathleen Devine coming on the Devine home. So remember that too. What can you use about your name or your location? I mean, thank goodness we live in Nashville area, so that's fun to use. I yeah. use my last name for my side hustle. I breed Siamese cats on the side, so my cattery is called Devine Siamese. Well, don't you want your cat to be Devine? Oh, yeah. I've branded oh, myself that way with my little hobby slash business. See, that's brilliant. I think sometimes we just have to dig dig a little deeper and do a little soul searching and find out, okay, what what, what am I all about? Mm -hmm. What is my business all about that I can actually portray to the public that will be catchy, that they will remember? And I think it's also mm -hmm. important to have that five to seven word, preferably five, tagline where when someone asks you what you do, the worst thing we can say is, I'm a realtor. I'm that in is real the, estate. That's the absolute I'm in real estate. Real estate. We, yeah. we all need a tagline that says what we do. And your tagline typically should be something that solves a problem. 
Because when people have a need, they need someone to help fulfill that need and solve any potential problems along the way. So I think that's really important, just figuring out what few words as simple as possible that are catchy that we, people will remember because we all know the big ones, Coke, McDonald's, they've all got their catchy little yeah. phrase yeah. that has branded them for years and, and no one will ever forget. That's right. And yeah. when you think about like not just nonprofits, but nonprofits and businesses like that, they have a mission statement. Churches, right. you know, religious groups yeah. have a mission statement so people know mm -hmm. what you can expect from the group, the building you're visiting, the church that you're attending. What is their mission? Right, yeah. It's kind of your quick little five second message, like your eight second elevator. <laughs> yeah, we have some uh, background noise going on there. But yeah, so think about that. If you're, you're probably like, I don't even know what you're talking about. How do you brand yourself? What does this mean? It means think of what it is that you want to offer to the public or to the classroom or to the volunteer hospital, wherever you're doing something. And then wrap your brain about how you're going to be consistently that person every time you show up. And people know what to count on. Right? That's we all want to be remembered. Yeah. Oh, yes. you know, nobody want wants to fade into obscurity. When you think about celebrities, you think about those that really stepped out before their time, like Elton John. Yeah. Freddie Mercury. Elvis. Who, Elvis, who were over the top, who it came with controversy. But we remember them now. We remember the style they created, yes. the brand they created. I say that. The biggest mega, mega, mega stars are not the ones in, well, one. There's one t-shirt, ball cap, Kenny Chesney guy. But, I mean, the Madonnas, the Michael Jacksons, the Bruno Mars, uh, Prince, all those people are over the top a little bit and branded themselves. They chose that. Katy Perry, Lady Gaga. And so you don't have to put on rhinestones, but make yourself stand out. That's really the big thing. Yeah. Don't and be afraid. Yes. It's typically going to be your strength. Find out what your strength is and then monopolize that and just grow with it. And even if you feel a little bit, um, I guess, insecure or lack a little bit of confidence, if it's your true inner strength, the more you do it, the more you practice it, the better you'll become at it. And you'll become known yeah. for what you want to become known for. And hey, if you if you want some feedback, message us on Facebook at the Store Show. We'll give you our opinions. <laughs> we'll be glad to have a one-on-one -on -one yeah. and sit down lunch with people because we sure feel like we've really had to be tough in branding ourselves, and I think we're all pretty successful at it. So we'll be glad to share that. I love sharing sure. what I think works for me. <laughs> I mean, we all get a lot of referrals and repeat business, so something we're doing is right. We'll be glad to share. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Rebecca, we miss you. We miss Hi, you. Rebecca. Rebecca. Rebecca's sitting on the beach. the beach. Yeah. That's a good place to be. So that might be our health tip. Sunshine, vacation, Quality take a time break. For yourself. Yeah. Quality yes. time for yourself. Don't be afraid to say, I am shutting down. I can't exactly. do this. I need 48 hours of quiet time or a week. They but, say, you know, when you're running your own business like us, you work a lot harder before and after your vacation. So vacations are good for business. Oh yeah, right. They really are real estate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you so go. That's the way look at it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but you exactly. know, I've always thought you can't be the best wife, mother, sister, employee, boss, unless you're taking good care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So take care of yourself first. If that means quiet time, vacation time, exercise, meditation time, exercise. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're fitting those things into your daily and weekly and monthly girl time. regimens. <laughs> girl time. Girl time. Yeah. yeah. Critical. So yeah. with that, Mother's, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Come yeah. on Sunday. Yeah. What's everybody doing? Um, we'll just have a chill weekend, I am sure. Maybe dinner with some of the kids and see the grandbabies. We'll plan a chill weekend and then we'll get crazy. That's what we do. Yeah. 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 Ye